Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool uh, port scanner which is named as Nabu and first of all all the credit goes to the developer a project discovery and also guys if you want to connect to me personally you can check out my twitter and if you want to be part of my community you can check out my uh, discord all the links are in the description below and you even find the tool link in the description below so the reason that i'm trying why i'm trying to cover this port scanner is like this is a really cool port scanner uh, like uh, it can do something like passive scanning with the help of uh, shodan it can do some a lot more cool stuff like you have ton of uh, scan types and also you can integrate this nmap with uh, your per this particular uh, tool and you can run a lot of stuff so this is based in th this is based on go language so if you don't know how to install go like if you haven't done that so i'll leave the link for how to install go language in your linux uh, in the description below you can do check that out from there so you can see a lot of options here like you can do some a passive scan active scan you have a lot of options here so i'll just let you know what uh what are some good options that you can try and uh, installation is pretty simple but before that make sure you install this lip uh, uh lippy cap for this packet capturing so just copy this and just paste it in your linux so i'm going to show this on my linux so just copy paste it so uh, i'm already root here so if you're not root add sudo here and it is going to work for you and uh, let me come back so and here you just copy paste this thing so you can just copy and uh, uh, paste it in your terminal so just a minute so and then once you have your go installed and you can run this command so it is going to install the lapu uh, the latest version of nabu so this is not going to take much time uh, okay so once it once it's done you can move this uh, uh go it is going to be located in go bin and uh, the file name is going to be nabo and you can move this to user pin or any other location like uh, it is going to be accessible from anywhere okay so since this user bin is in path so you don't need to all always go and go to the specified path and run this tool so nabu uh hyphen hyphen help that's the basic option that we always run and uh, you have some lot of options guys here so first of all let's find out the ip of some kind of a google or something like that so nabu uh, nabu hyphen host and uh, something like google.com and you can provide an option like passive so the passive option in the sense like it is going to do some kind of a passive scan here so like this works most of the time guys like if i remove this passive option like it is not going to show me up it is going to show me some error sometimes okay so it depends upon a lot of stuff here so or else you can just provide the ip as well so uh, for me most of the time this ip part works really fine for me so what you can do is like you can ping uh, you can uh, just do echo and you can paste the ip and you can pipe it to uh, nabu so that's an easy part you can do and uh, it is going to like this works most of the time but sometimes it doesn't work okay so you can add something option like passive so like if you add this passive option like uh, i have more uh, good stuff with this passive option like uh, most of the time i get results when i use this passive option so that's the thing and you have other options here so uh, you have some other options like you have some port options here like you can check for some specific ports okay so and you can exclude some ports like if you take any website okay so port 80 and port 443 will be available most of the time but if you are looking for specific ports like smb or something like that you can just uh, uh, do that okay you can exclude some common ports and you can just look for that and also like this host you can provide a list of hosts here so you can uh, put that in a file and you can run that and uh, let's close this thing up so it may take some time so that's fine uh, and uh, some more options here like you can do piping or something like that and uh, you can provide some uh, like uh, ipv4 or ipv6 address so let us assume that you have a host uh, okay which has both ipv4 and ipv6 so you can provide an option like hyphen ip version 6 and it is going to show you the uh, stuff based on ipv6 stuff like uh, the ports open on that there something like that and uh, you can have some more host discovery options like this works even in your local network as well so i can show you this thing so uh, echo uh, 190 uh, this is the my one of the local uh, this local networks ip so i can just put some option like this and it is going to show me up all the values so like uh, most uh, like more like you can run, you can do some port scan on some 
a real life networks as well as in your local networks with this tool so you can see it's pretty fast but uh, there is no much option here but one cool option that you can always do is like you can use this option called as nmap cli so i'm going to show you that so uh, let me do something like hyphen nmap hyphen cli and i can uh, run a command in quotes like nmap hyphen s and capital v for example okay so for example so uh, you can see the version scan is going to run so you don't need to provide any ip or something like that you can just run like this and you can see the nmap result there so this is one good thing that you can come over for and uh, some more options like uh, uh, you can always do piping part so piping part is like a really cool okay so and uh, uh, like if you're uh, like what happens is in the sense like um, if you are choosing a target for your bug bounty so you'll find a lot of subdomains and each subdomain might have a different ip sometime so in those cases you can uh, use an option like hyphen list and uh, in a file you can put down all those ips or whatever it is and you can just run it and you have some other output options like json and stuff like that so to be honest like what option that i use basically is like the basic options so whenever i'm doing a bug bounty so i get the subdomains and then the ips and then i put all those ips in some kind of a text file and i look for some different ports and sometimes uh i've uh, recently one uh in one target i found some port which shouldn't be opened okay and uh, the port is not even asking me for something like uh, authentication or something like that so that's a thing like that and uh yep so and then what it is like the port number is something like uh for example 505 for example so i can only look for that port like whether it's open on other ips or not and uh, a quick win sometimes you might find it sometimes you might not find it it's dependent so that is it guys how you can make use of this tool so uh, this video is going to be short and simple i know that but uh, you can find a lot more options so and also one cool thing is like uh, rate limiting so if you are like by think you can see uh, like uh, by default like whenever you are targeting uh, whenever you are targeting some kind of a real life network so what happens is like the rate here you need to reduce the rate here like you can see by default it is a thousand packets per second so what happens is uh, what happens is like it is going to make a lot of noise so try to reduce this stuff so that uh, you won't get caught by the dns and stuff and also uh, one more cool thing is like scan all ip so this is also a good thing so if your uh, your domain might have like you can put this and you can uh, try to scan all the associated ips uh, with the dns record so you can uh, make use of that so that is it guys for this video if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you